Rob Kearney. I am a professional strongman and an author. So today we are here in Sacramento at Capitol Books for my first book signing event for the newly released Strong that just came out on May 10th. It is a children's picture book autobiography about my life and really the story is just about once you accept yourself for who you are, you can achieve anything you want. So this is Eric, he's the other co-author to the book. He was, at a, he was at a bookstore in New York signing some copies and Bill Clinton walked in <laughs> and ended up signing a copy of the book, which was pretty unbelievable. I've been following Strongman for like 10 plus years and every time I try to talk to my friends about it, they're like, okay, that's fine, whatever, it's weird. But they also <laughs> always ask, is there a gay one? And I could never say yes before. Even as grown men, we were looking for representation. Growing up, I never thought I was possible, right? Because we had never seen an openly gay strength athlete before. And to now be that person that people can look to to say, well, I can do that with my life. You know, this is possible for me. And to see a, you know, muscle-bound dude with a mohawk, <laughs> I don't, you know, I don't fit the stereotype of what people think gay is. And changing that narrative has been really cool so people can see and realize, you know, oh, I can do this too. Fiction is great, and we do need the fiction stories as well, but we also do need people to see you can be openly gay, you can be openly LGBTQ, and thrive in life. You know, it's not, it, people need to see themselves before they realize that they can do that too. So I involve our son with all my writing. He loves superheroes as well, and he's always talking about, I wonder if this superhero could do that, or what would this superhero do in this situation? And I saw the conversation kind of tweak a little bit to like, I wonder if Rob Kearney could lift this. I wonder if Rob Kearney could do that. <laughs> kind of incorporating it into his everyday life. So that was kind of a, an aha moment to me that we were onto something. What are your favorite images that are in this book? About halfway through the book, the way it's depicted is, you know, it really is so casual that there are these two men in this masculine space of a weight room and they fall in love with each other. So the weight room can be extremely intimidating for, for gay men. And to be able to show that moment, I think it's, it's a little bit deeper than some might realize. It's not just two men falling in love, but just the fact that they found love in this space that can sometimes be so terrifying for gay men, I think is really, really powerful. The message that we're trying to continue to send is as long as you are living who you truly want to be, um, obstacles become inferior. 